Welcome to Connect to Florida. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about tiny homes. Now, tiny homes are nothing new. You've seen them on HGTV many times. Some people love them, some people think they're ridiculous, but they have kind of had a reawakening here lately. They're kind of seeing a resurgence again because of the high cost of living that's going on literally in every state. So a lot of retirees are looking at tiny homes in a much more serious way to kind of figure out, you know, could that work for me? So if this is the first time we're meeting, I want to say hello. My name is Barrett Pastor, and I've been a real estate broker for 25 years. So hopefully I'm coming to you from a place of knowledge and experience, and I can help you navigate all things real estate. Now, I am a real estate broker here in Southwest Florida. I do also hold a real estate license in more than one state. So if you need any help, whether it be vetting a real estate agent in your hometown, you're thinking about moving, or if I can help you here myself in Southwest Florida, all of my contact information is always below. Call, text, email, I am here for you. All right, so let's talk about tiny homes. And in this video, I am also going to be giving you three tiny homes communities that are here in Southwest Florida that you may be very interested in. Okay, so let's go over a few of the benefits and why you might want to consider a tiny home. So as you know, single family homes are through the roof, especially in Florida, but all over the country. The expense is insane and a lot of retirees are looking to get into warm weather. So if you're looking for something that doesn't feel like a condo, you don't want to move to a manufactured home, a tiny home very well might work for you. So some of the benefits are that one, you're downsizing. You have to downsize at that point. At that point, you're going to go through your home and purge and kind of say, what do I really need? What do I really want to take with me? And I think you'll realize that when you look at simplifying your life in that way, you'll realize that you probably, maybe in your eight or 10 room house, you might only really live in two rooms and it might not be as difficult for you as you think it could be. The other thing is that in a tiny home, you're going to have far, far lower bills on your utilities. So your electric, your water, all of those things are going to be a lot lower just because you have such a smaller space, just because you don't need as much heat and air conditioning or whatever it may be in your tiny home. Now, many of these communities are in beautiful settings. So I have seen some outside of Florida, which one of the ones that I'm going to give you in Florida is literally on the beach, walking distance from the beach, really close to the water. Another huge benefit to these tiny homes, especially the tiny homes communities, is they tend to be in beautiful settings. So you see them out maybe on beautiful farmland or with a scenic view of the mountains. One of the ones that I'm going to tell you about today is actually on Siesta Key in Sarasota. So you are very, very close to the Gulf of Mexico. So when you're willing to have that small footprint, it's easier for the builders to be able to put up this tiny home as opposed to a sprawling 3,500 square foot one level home that takes up an awful lot of land and has to price out extremely high. Mm -hmm. So many times these tiny homes are put, they know that you're gonna be outside a lot. So they're put on these beautiful little lots in a community that's just such a beautiful setting reduced financial stress. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing as we retire? So all of your bills are gonna be lower in a tiny home, all of them across the board. You can't hoard food. Do you hoard food? If you go look at your pantry right now, is it jammed with things you're gonna throw away? Is there, are there meals that you made three weeks ago that are way in the back of the refrigerator and you can't even see them? You know what? I'm talking to you as much as I'm talking to me. So we all do this. We tend to do this. Well, if you're in a tiny home, you're going to be much more efficient. You're not going to buy overloads of things from Costco and Sam's that you don't need. And you're going to ultimately save money. 
Now there's another tiny home community in Florida that I'm also going to be telling you about in Winter Haven. If you're unfamiliar, Winter Haven is adorable and it's very close to Orlando. But that little tiny home community has an incredible sense of community. So you get to know your neighbors. It's easy to wave to each other. People are on their porches a lot. They customize their little footprint. You see gardens and little seed, little seed gardens. It's just an overall throwback to the way that many people used to live, biking and neighbors getting together. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, that again, the community that I'm going to tell you about in Winter Haven is something that you also might want to consider in Central Florida. Now, you may not have known this, but tiny homes are also mobile, so they're on wheels. So let's say you start out in Florida and you... Get your tiny home exactly the way that you want it. You have it customized. You're enjoying life and you're enjoying the water. You're enjoying the Gulf of Mexico. There's another tiny home community in Tampa Bay, right outside of Tampa Bay, and you're just loving it. But you decide that you would much rather live where the mountains are and you would love to have a view of the mountains. There is a tiny home community, by the way, in Colorado. So let's say you want to move. Your home is on wheels. You just hook it up and go. You find another community that works for you and you put your little home down. So a lot of people don't realize that there is a lot of flexibility in terms of where you live when you have a tiny home. And then the last thing that I want to mention is that your maintenance is so much less. Have you ever put a roof on? Roofs are not cheap. And if you're coming from a single family home somewhere like Florida, where you might have a tile roof, those tile roofs can be anywhere from as low as $40,000 to as high as $70,000 and on up. Well, think about a little asphalt shingle tiny home. Not really difficult to get a roof on there. Your air conditioning, all of these things, everything is just just pack that right there with you. So your cost of living, your maintenance, cleaning, all of those things are so much lesser in a tiny home. All right, so now I wanna give you the details on the three communities that I'm aware of here in Southwest Florida. So I'm gonna look at my notes here so that I get the name exactly right. So you've got Tiny House Siesta, which is on Siesta Key, which if you're unfamiliar, that's basically in Sarasota. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of a clip here. And I would suggest that before you make a long-term commitment on this, I would rent one of these little cottages. They are absolutely adorable. I've driven through there. Siesta Key is beautiful. There's shops. Obviously, you have the beach. It's just a beautiful overall lifestyle. And if you want medical care and, you know, let's say you decide you do want Costco for whatever reason, everything is nearby because you live basically in, outside of Sarasota. The second one I want to tell you about is called Circle Pond Tiny Community. So let me show you some clips of that as well. Winter Haven is very cute. A lot of people liken it to a throwback like 1950s Florida. So it's in central Florida, so you still have the mild weather. So I'm going to leave you some information on that below in the description box. And then the last one I want to tell you about is called Escape Tampa Bay Tiny Home Village, if that doesn't say it all for you. The town that it's in right here, but it is in Hillsborough County, which is just outside of Tampa. And you're gonna have a lot of tall trees and lakes. It's a beautiful community. There are about 15,000 people that live in this community. There's a lake, there's lots of parks, and of course, you are close to Tampa. So if you wanna go to a football game, you can do that. If you want to go see a hockey game, you can do that. But then you can go back to your quaint little village and your cute little tiny home. And I just think that it allows for a lot more experiences. So if you're a person that does not want to gather things as you retire in life, you want to gather experiences, a tiny home might be the absolute perfect fit for you. So these few communities that are available here in Florida, and I know there are many more, so I will leave the ones I mentioned below down in the description box. And if you're interested in this overall lifestyle, just reach out to me down below. My contact information is always there, and we can put you in touch with 
someone that specializes in these tiny homes communities because some people come to us and they're considering the entirety of Florida or maybe they're considering the entire U.S. for their tiny home. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next couple days for another video.